Hi there, I'm Julian Armstrong and I'm a Solutions Architect at AWS. And today we're going to talk about fulfillment code hooks. These invoke a Lambda function at fulfillment, that is when all required data for that intent has been collected. Typical use cases for a fulfillment code hook would be taking action to complete the intent, usually by reaching out to external services or systems, looking up an FAQ answer using a search service or even a large language model, or routing to an additional intent post-fulfillment based on external information. Really anything that you need to wait until you've collected all of the information from your intent to do, and especially if it involves outside information or services. There is only one fulfillment code hook per intent, unlike dialogue code hooks, which there might be many of. It can only happen in the fulfillment step, which is really just a special case code hook. Unlike code hooks, it will need to be active and have use Lambda function enabled. You can do this in the console or in the create or update intent API calls. The fulfillment step is not a required one and you can make it inactive, which will of course disable the Lambda call. Because this type of code hook is used to complete some sort of action that probably reaches out to other systems, you may want to be able to keep the connection open longer than the standard 30 seconds. For this, you can set up fulfillment updates. This can stop both your bot and your customer from timing out. You can choose how long before your first message and how long between update messages. This is only applicable when you're using Lex in streaming mode. And remember to test it out and make sure you get the right timings for your use case. You can set all of this up when you create your bot through the API as well. When you invoke the Lambda function, the event will come into your Lambda with an invocation source of fulfillment code hook and the intent state as ready for fulfillment. To fulfill the intent, you can then set the intent state on the response to fulfilled. In this example, we're ending the conversation, but remember that you can choose to route onto another intent or prompt the user for more input after you've finished your fulfillment. If you want to know more about code hooks, you can check out our other videos. Thanks for listening.